In this saltwater tank at Stanford University, these brine shrimp are undergoing what is called a vertical migration. So we have a tank of brine shrimp. They are representative of marine zooplankton such as krill in terms of their size and their swimming mode. With support from the National Science Foundation, engineers John DeBeery and Isabel Houghton want to better understand how vertical migrations of tiny marine animals like krill contribute to ocean mixing. We're very interested in how the ocean works because that's going to determine our future here on Earth. The ocean is the primary sink of our carbon emissions. It provides fish for a lot of coastal communities, really for the entire world. And so we're interested in its health and its future. Scientists have long chalked up ocean mixing to wind and tides. But it now looks like that's not the whole story. Oceans are teeming with shrimp-like krill. They're the base of the marine food chain. Every night, they migrate in giant swarms to the surface to feed. Now, these lab experiments are showing all that kicking really does add up. What we're trying to do is understand those processes that drive ocean circulation, for example, because that's going to allow us to predict what happens with future climate. If these organisms are playing a significant role in the ocean, then that's an important feature that we need to add to our calculations of what will happen to global climate in the coming years. Mixing it up in the lab, discovering how these tiny sea creatures have a giant effect on our oceans. From This American Land, Gary Stryker for NBC News.